So, guys, Myers Leonard was just traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder for a second round pick and Trevor Ariza. Um, OKC is going to waive him, and Myers Leonard first has to uh, let go of his no trade clause. He'll go there and then they'll waive him. Um, I think that he is done. His NBA career is over. Uh, he absolutely is being traded because of his comments. He said an anti Semitic slur, an anti Jewish slur in a Twitch live stream while he's gaming. My reaction was absolutely he knew what he was saying. Absolutely he knew what that word meant. And he's 29 years old. Now, I get it maybe if he's 19 years old and he's a rookie and he doesn't have as much life experience. I did not buy Myers Leonard's excuse when he said that he didn't know what that word meant. He absolutely knew what it meant. The way that he said it with such, it was so casual the way he dropped it, Absolutely. He, he Not only does he know what it means, he says it all the time. Um, I also didn't like his apology. Like for me, if I'm running the Miami Heat, that apology is that's part of the reason why I would let him go like this is because instead of just owning it and saying, you know what I did, I said that it's something that I say among friends, whatever, like horrible excuse he wanted to use. The fact that he said he didn't know what it meant to me was like, okay, see, you're not even owning your mistake. You're, it's not a real apology to me when you try to make an excuse to say that. Now, if he totally owned it, 100% owned it and said, I am wrong, I'm going to take uh, sensitivity courses, I'm going to go to the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C., whatever it may be, then I would consider saying, okay, this is someone who really is remorseful. But for him to try to weasel out of it by saying he doesn't know what it means, which obviously is false, uh, to me, that was like unforgivable. So they trade him. And what are they losing? They're not losing much. If you guys remember the playoffs, the Miami Heat, Myers Leonard basically was a cheerleader, um, especially in the rounds that mattered, the Eastern Conference Finals, the finals. He was just a cheerleader. He clapped on the side. Um, and, he, you know, he's a seven footer who's 29 years old. He had a season ending shoulder surgery. So they're not missing anything for this year. Um, he is traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder, they are going to waive him. Initially, I saw Woj in his tweet, and all the all the comments to his tweet were, oh, of course OKC traded for him. They're all racist. That's stupid. I hate generalizing people like that. That's BS. I guarantee you there are a bunch of, you know, people who have the same values as, you know, those people who are tweeting that in Oklahoma City. I hate uh, stereotyping people based on geography. I'm from Texas. I'm from Houston. I'm one of the more like liberal people that I know, and I'm from Texas. And a lot of people would probably generalize me saying that I, you know, I'm Texas, so I have to be this conservative. Um, so yeah, OKC is going to waive him. And what that allows Myers Leonard to do is to be picked up in the buyout market by somebody, right? And so it, it opens it up to all 30 teams, except for the Miami Heat, they couldn't do it. But it opens it up, or sorry, the OKC Thunder, they couldn't pick him up. It opens him up to all 30 teams for anyone to pick him up. I think none of the other 29 teams are going to pick up Myers Leonard. Number one, season-ending shoulder surgery. Number two, even when he's healthy, he averages about four points a game. The only way a player gets a second chance for something like this is if they're really, really good on the court. It's sad, it's crappy, but that's the way life works. There's the old uh, story about the Dallas Cowboys uh, and coach Jimmy Johnson. He had a star quarterback named Troy Aikman. And his, uh, his, his story was, what do you do if Troy Smith falls asleep in a film session? He goes, I wake him up and I say, thanks so much for your time. You are no longer a Dallas Cowboy. And he's cut. And he goes, wow, you take you take falling asleep seriously. What do you do if Troy Aikman does? He goes, I tap him on the shoulder and say, hey, Troy, uh, can you wake up? We're doing film. Because Troy is so much more important. The, the point is that, uh, that Myers Leonard is not that important. I'm sorry. He gets one strike and you're done for life. Meta World Peace can go into the stance, the malice in the palace, and beat people up. You know what Meta World Peace was? A defensive player of the year. And at one time, one of the stars of the league. So therefore, Ron Artest, Meta World Peace, gets a second chance at an NBA career after he does the unforgivable, right? Like he was suspended. He had to go to court, the whole thing. So if Meta World, if Ron Artest was Ron Smith, some guy we never heard of, he may have been banned for life from the NBA, but he was so good he got a second chance, right? Ray Rice, another football one, 
Ray Rice was caught on camera punching his wife. It was it was disgusting, if y'all remember this. Punching his wife in an elevator and like knocking her out cold. He did not play another snap in the NFL because he was past his prime. But there are other guys. There's a guy named Joe Mixon. If you want to see something really disturbing, which why would you? There is security camera footage of Joe Mixon before he went in the NFL draft, walking up to a chick in a restaurant, standing there and just decking her to the ground. He got drafted and he played and he's still playing. And Ray Rice did the same thing and he's never played another snap in the NFL. What did it have to do with? It had to do with talent. Myers Leonard is not talented enough to overcome something like this. Do I think it's fair? Nah, not necessarily fair, you know, but you know, it's just the way that it is. Sports is all about, you know, uh, what have you done for me lately? Can you earn a spot on this bench? Can you earn a spot on this seat? There's always someone behind you who's just as talented trying to get your spot. Myers Leonard's spot in the NBA will be given to someone else because of what he did. And he's not talented enough. And that's the bottom line. So uh, ESPN uh, reports that Myers Leonard is traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder for Trevor Ariza in one second round pick. OKC is going to waive him immediately. Uh, Trevor Ariza, you know, going to the uh, Miami Heat is, you know, a good thing if you're the Heat. Um, you you essentially trade a second round pick for a guy in Myers Leonard who had a season ending shoulder surgery. Colin, unnecessary. Thank you, though, dude. Uh, and so now they can use Ariza. So they flip a guy on their bench who wasn't being used to a guy now who they can use. Not not great. You know, he's past his prime, well past his prime. For, for a second-round pick, I would definitely do Trevor Ariza there. Okay, Colin asks, do you think OKC packages Leonard in another deal before the deadline? Uh, Colin, I don't think so, dude. I think that they waive him. Um, I'm sure, Colin, you saw the uh, tweet from Woj that says OKC has no plans to use Myers Leonard going forward. So that's what's going to happen there. Uh, glad you quit smoking, says Peak. Thank you so much, Peak. Um, so anyway, guys. That's it. This is a deal that I thought was big enough to come on here and let you guys know my thoughts. But there's, you know, it's such breaking news. Can't have a full fledged video. But um, yeah, guys, I, I really do want to know what you think. Do you think Myers Leonard should have gotten a second chance? Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't. I don't. I, I think that his apology was BS. He knew exactly what he was saying. Um, and he's a guy, especially with the social climate that we're in, that. One strike and you're out. You're 29 years old. You don't contribute on the NBA. You don't, you're already on thin ice. You cannot make a mistake like that. That kind of mistake to me is so, and then his, his apology, he didn't even own up for it. He said, I didn't know. You knew. If a real apology to me is, I fully own up to it. Someone who does that, I'm willing to forgive. Someone who tries to weasel the way out. Sorry, I have no time for that whatsoever. Um, All right, guys. That's pretty much it. So appreciate it. 5 p.m. Our video today is who should buy and who should sell at the NBA tread deadline. There's a lot of confusion about who should buy and who should sell. You know, people are trying to get the 10 seed, all this stuff. Forget all that, guys. We cut through all the crap and we say which team should buy at the deadline, which team should hold, and which team should sell. So that's going to drop at 5 Eastern. You guys are the best. Adios.